Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today we have another cool weapon to get after. This one is going to be a fist weapon and a whole lot of fun. The iron ball can be yours today and I'll show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick this up. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now in order to get the iron ball, you need to make it all the way to the Boilpron Shack. In order to get there from the very first steps, you need to either cut through Starfield Castle, to got a couple bosses, or go running back inside to learn your lakes where this NPC is located. Now, when you make it over here to this saving grace point, there is a guy called the Big Bogar. Now, he has a quest line, right? But the quest line can easily be passed up if you don't talk to Raya at Lernia Lakes. So, you can kind of lock yourself out of this, but you can do it in another quest line as well. So, no worries, but still, this is the only way you're going to get this item. You're going to have to take this dude out. And, you know, if you're a little bit over level, it's not going to be a problem for you to take this out. You will always pop a heal potion though, so just keep that in mind. Take this dude out, and he is going to drop ourselves a whole bunch of different items which is really really cool including the weapon that we're looking for so let's go over here and let's pick up all of these items and go over them. we have the black guards bell bearing and we also have the iron ball we also have the black guards iron mask and raya's necklace which is part of raya's quest line as well as far as the iron mask this is what it looks like as far as the damage negation and resistances the iron mask doesn't have anything as far as it adding anything to your stats is concerned but looks pretty cool and this is ryan necklace part of the rise quest line which you can buy as well now if you offer this ball bearing up to the twin meetings of course the only thing that this guy have is the one thing that you absolutely already have which is Raya's necklace. Now as far as the iron ball is concerned you need strength of 11, dexterity of 8, weight of 2.5, FP cost 16 in order to wield the skill called Briar's Roar which raises your attack power, defense, and stamina recovery speed and this Ash of War is very unique because it's the only way you can get this is from the iron ball. Now this is what it looked like after I got this to plus 24. You can put Ashes of War on it, which means you can put on Magic Mornaments, which is pretty cool. And you can two-fist this bad boy as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of that Braggage Roar, and we're going to be trying out this right here at the gate front. Now you can have a whole lot of fun with this. I went with one Flaming Fist, one Katara in one hand to absolutely wipe these enemies. Took it to the mountaintops of the Giants, popped it with the two hand with the flame art on this bad boy as well. And it was pretty freaking fantastic if I don't say so myself. Although the damage still wasn't where it needed to be. Just saying, it was okay, but it wasn't fantastic. So I did a little bit of tweaking with this bad boy and found out a really good way to uh, get more damage out of this. Although the damage is still good with it, right? I went with this. I went with a different Ash of War. Now, you should see a video pop up right there. This is how you're going to get the Crag Blade. Now, I went with the Blood Affinity on this Crag Blade. And oh boy, does it make a difference. I popped a little bit of Golden Val, two handed this bad boy. Well, this is the results right here the mountaintops of the Giants. Look at that damage as it goes up. As soon as it proc that Blood Loss, it is a wrap. 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 damage and the guy is down in a matter of a second making this thing all of a sudden an amazing weapon. So there you have it, the iron ball. I showed you how to get it and all you have to do is get out there if you don't already have it, add it to your collection and have some fun. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Gaming, upload a wide variety of videos. Range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. Hope you and yours have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.